press that record button and get ready to get started. All right, one, two, three. Oops, let's try that again. <laughs> I was switching the wrong button. One, two, three, sync up. All right, what's up, everybody? Hola, como estas? Premier, ni hao, hi, hello. Captain Hook, 5150, here with Greg, C96. What's up, Greg? What's going on, everybody? As he said, we are here, we are here, we are here. And uh, I did a little work since the last episode. Uh, just a little. I went through <laughs> about five or six iron pickaxes. <laughs> and we have bats now. Oh, we have two of them now. Cool. Yes, they breed or something. I don't know. Maybe they are asexual. <laughs> are bats asexual? I, I don't know. Don't know. That's an interesting question. Well, I mean, we had one, and now there's two. So. <laughs> yes, and and they, uh, in just a short period of time, too. Yeah, maybe it's like a. Well, I mean, a Minecraft day is like twenty minutes, so maybe nine yes. Minecraft months is like a short time. <laughs> <laughs> that you know, that's it's quite possible. Um, all right, so let's let's see here. We got redstone. We got um, all see. sorts of good stuff. So and bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you were very busy. That's cool. Yeah, this area is twenty-one by forty-four. Uh, and what's sad is in this whole area. I mean, we found plenty of iron, but in this whole chunk area. Oh, there goes another pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> We've only found four diamonds. And what level is this? Uh, this spans from level, I think, nine, nine to eleven. Wow. <laughs> so, two, only two? Uh, two from strip mining, and that's counting. Actually, no, we only found two in this side, because the strip mine where I found the other two was from the strip mining on the other side. <laughs> oh, Wow. I noticed I have three apples. Do we need, like, golden apples? Do we Not have... yet. We're going to probably yeah. want them when we try to tackle an underwater temple. Yeah, that's but true. But we need to get to the nether first and all that stuff. So. Oh, yeah, because we need... Um... We definitely need potions, and yeah. we need all the potions and enchants we can get. Yes, speaking of which, yes, we don't have... Um, I'm trying to remember... We don't have an enchanting table we yet. Okay. Because we don't have a diamond pickaxe yet, because we only have four diamonds. Once we get that fifth, I'll make a diamond pick and go get some obsidian so we can make an enchanting table. Sounds good. So our mission, if we choose to accept it, is to... Find a damn diamond. <laughs> Just one! I love That's em. all we need. Because honestly, the iron stuff enchanted up is just as good as diamond. Like a sharpness... Five iron sword, the iron sword is way better than just a regular diamond sword, and it's a sharpness four diamond sword. So that's all we need is gear. I don't think that's too much to ask. Nah, just one diamond. Like hell, maybe we'll even find a village. We can get it from them. Trade Damn. our way up through the system. Start with giving them wheat and paper for emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> Trading like the mafia trade. Yeah, <laughs> making a deal I can't refuse. Okay. So, I'm going to need another pickaxe here soon. Uh, uh, I got one right here. These, uh, these hallways? Adorable. I just blocked them off because I think some of them are dark. And I didn't want stuff coming at me. Yes, there's, I can see zombie feet. Yeah. These bats have weird faces. Yeah, they do. He just flew straight at me. That's the first time I've seen a Minecraft bat's face. <laughs> My God, it's mildly <laughs> scary. <laughs> oh, I didn't show. Here, your sign. Kick ass. Boom. Yes, uh, I think there's one up here that we're actually following. Get diamonds. Oh, <laughs> oh that's right. I forgot. <laughs> we're making okay. signs to remember what to do. That's right. One Kick of them was ass. build a campfire until we realized that it's not a block. <laughs> no, that's a different mod pack. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I've seen, like, Hypixel and stuff do them, and there is a way to do it in vanilla now with armor stands and lava pits. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And it, it took, like, a five-minute video to explain it. That's too much work. Yeah, t yeah, that's... that's For a I... campfire? I mean, come on. Okay, so we have... We have lava. That's cool. Yeah. Um, there's the furnace. We need to be able to. I wish you could make a smeltery in in vanilla. 
I mean, we can do something kind of like it. What's I going to do? I mean, using some hoppers and redstone, we can make a smeltery. That that might be a goal. Let's make a smeltery. Without the only way, the only smeltery I know how to make is like a feed the beast smeltery. All right. Well, we'll figure it out in vanilla. Cook some fish. Oh, uh, you know, beware! I'm gonna be, do a little rant here. Okay. I, Thanks I for had, the warning. You're, you're welcome. Um, you can go ahead and mute the sound now. Yeah, let's just turn that audio off. <laughs> No, I had to um, edit a team paper about effective collaboration in the human services industry, which is not nearly as boring as it sounds. Well, my team, each each person, there's five people on the team, and each per, each person has a separate topic, and then I was dubbed the team leader for this week. There's chickens down here. Yes, um, I, I managed to get one from an egg finally and start breeding them. Nice. But, uh, anyway, um, so they were supposed to send me their parts, and then I was going to... I'm in charge of adding it, edit, editing it, and then uploading it to our professor. I was dismayed <laughs> in the fact of... I don't think people remember how to write a paper anymore. I, I've noticed this phenomenon as well. There are uh, commas where there shouldn't be commas. Things Now, everything's spelled right, thank God, because of, you know, spell check. But the thing is, is that when you use spell check, sometimes it'll offer to change a word. And some that was people, already correct. And some people will just automatically go, yeah, change that, whatever. Well, sometimes when it does change a word that is so awfully spelled wrong, it completely changes the meaning of the word because it's a different word now. So I'm like reading the sentence and thinking, you know, this sentence doesn't make a damn bit of sense. <laughs> Because spell check changed the word into something that had absolutely nothing to do with the rest of the context yeah. of the sentence. And while I was potato through the woods, what? Yes. <laughs> so, I'm just I'm like weeping in the fetal position as I'm reading this, <laughs> losing faith in humanity. Like, oh my god, wait, really? Wait, hold on. You mean you still had some? A little, yes, because I'm naive. Ah, okay. <laughs> Is it all gone now? <laughs> now it's all gone, yeah. Let, let, me, let, let me link you to some Carl, and that'll get rid of the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, I'm, like, so disappointed in, in people. And uh, Oh, hey, where did this zombie come from? He's on the inside. Oh, now, now he must die. Oh, he's dead. Stab. Stab. There we go. It's I saw. Good. Oh, wait, hold on. I better not say stab, stab, because then they're going to accuse me of violent crimes for playing violent video games. Uh oh don't want that to happen. Nope. And better watches, so Pete will be on our ass for if we kill one of these bats. Now there's three bats. I know. God damn, nine months is fast. <laughs> they breed like rabbits. We haven't seen any of those yet. No, we haven't. Oh, wait, no, I think we did in the first episode. When we At the, the cows, yes. maybe? Yes. At the very beginning. The very beginning, because there was one right at spawn. Yes, but we got to be careful with the chickens when we start killing them for food that the babies don't see it. Like you did in your last video, breeding the cows in front of their children. Yeah, that was or your stream you know, rather. I, I I felt slightly dirty about doing that, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, I I'll be right back. My timer's going off. Just a second. So yes, guys, I will take this moment to apologize to you, my viewers. And Tim's viewers who happen to come across over to my side, you'll have seen me a few minutes ago looking this way. I was texting. I apologize. I know I'm not supposed to do that on camera, but I texted during a video. Shoot me. Boom. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Um. So, yeah, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just continuing to uh, cut out this roof here, maybe try to find some more stuff. I mean, that's that's really it right now until I finish this up. I was just like earlier, I ended up just being too lazy to finish it off camera. <laughs> That'll happen. Yeah, 
I, I, I think my exact thought was enough of this crap. Time for factions. <laughs> it's like, F it, I'm done. Yeah, because I think I got like three or four more episodes of factions recorded today. Ah, congratulations. Wow. Time to strike! And then I we got the GNL show recorded today. Nice. Which I still have to edit, so that's after this. What was the topic of this? Um, this? A couple of things we talked about. Okay, so here... Okay, so the one that I was most intrigued about is there's this product that is on Indiegogo right now called the Pavlock. That and sounds, what does that sound like to you? It, it sounds, uh, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I have a very dirty mind right now. so I'm <laughs> All right, so it is a, it is a bracelet type thing that is designed to help you break bad habits. Now, how do you think one would go about that? It's um, an electric shock bracelet. Oh. That you can program so that it detects certain movements or whatever. Oh, so boy. You can, so it's designed to break bad habits. Now, didn't <laughs> we prove a long time ago that electroshock therapy does more harm than good? The, yeah, actually. So now, right. Now, this is the baffling part to me. We've proved this. Most people are against this unethical stuff, quote unquote. Most, yes. Yet this thing's been up since September thirtieth, so this is day six of the campaign. It's already reached two hundred nineteen percent of its goal on crowdfunding, with six hundred and fifty four backers. It has raised over a hundred thousand dollars. I think it was $109,255 in the past six days for an electric shock bracelet. This is people with too much money. Like, come on. Reaffirmed my my notion of people are, are evil. And this is just... And these are going to be the same people who say we can't test makeup on animals. Oh. Like... You know? Yep. No, no, no. It's not right to test makeup on animals and do all these harmful things. Oh, you want to sell electroshock bracelets to help people break their bad habits? Yeah, let's go for it. I'm for it. For one, where the hell do you think they're testing it? Exactly. <sighs> I don't know. It's just, It baffles me. Like, well. <laughs> I mean, I get that there's probably no harm caused. Because of the fact it's creating a path for the circuit over your skin. But, I mean, you're going to feel it if it's supposed to do any sort of change. Yeah, if it's supposed to do its job. And here's the thing. The other thing this is going to do is it's going to create a dependence so that once you stop using it because you think mission accomplished, you know, what happens now when you don't have it anymore? You're going to start doing these bad habits, and because you're not getting a shock to say you're doing bad, you're going to fall right back into them. I miss my friend, the little shock. Yeah, that can be, sounds like something that, that can be abused very easily. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, there's already people hooking their nipples up to car batteries with, like, y you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, I've seen that before. That's that's unfortunate. I mean, the internet's a weird place. That's all <laughs> yes, over it. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I just don't understand who was sitting around a board meeting one day <laughs> saying, Hey, you know what helped me stop smoking? <laughs> Let me shock my wrist. <laughs> yeah. You know, the best part of this is the bracelet part of it is a little case you can put it in. They also sell it with adhesive pads so that you can put it anywhere on your body. Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that right there. I'm not going to touch that with a 44 and a half foot pole. <laughs> that's a bad idea. <laughs> Come on now. <clears throat> Here's a true story about, did you say this was on Indiegogo? Yep, Indiegogo. Yes, I, about a year ago, I decided to help fund a project on Indiegogo. Mm -hmm. And I have yet to see it, even though it was promised in uh, April of 2014. Mm -hmm. So, as a uh, original sponsor, if you will, mm -hmm. yep. um, I keep getting updates, and the other sponsors must be getting pretty pissed off because the updates are getting to be, um, I promise you'll get money back if I don't give it out by a certain such date. And I'm thinking to myself, uh, dude, 
what's funny is that they made it, what it is is a um not, instead of a smart smart watch it's a smart ring so, so it's a smaller version because yeah. a, a watch and a ring are basically the same exact thing <laughs> and the the picture that they had up you know for the initial funding was actually pretty awesome and i'm looking at this and i'm thinking yeah i know it's it's you know, it's not the actual thing, but I'm like, that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, conceptually, this is this is pleasing. Congrats. Yes. It was a spider. Nice. I see a creeper. So run away. Oh, I heard it. Now I heard he's, the creeper. Didn't hurt me. He's no more. Nope. So, I mean, am I fully expecting this this wearable ring? No, because the update showed a picture of a prototype, and it was god awful. Oh, I yeah, because the final thing they show you is, of course, some nice three D modeled thing that they want it to look like. Yeah, and it's it's just like I said, god awful. Nothing at all like the. <sighs> I don't I don't believe in these like smart watches and smart rings and wearable technology. See, I have a Pebble. I had earlier mm-hmm. earlier. I had uh, well when I had an Android phone a galaxy yeah. i had the galaxy smartwatch whatever oh yeah because the pebble and the galaxy gear needed to be linked to a phone so yes. it made them pretty much useless as a standalone product so you could call from it and use it for what your phone is well the pebble you can't call from oh god nice but the pebble is nice in the fact that it it shows all your notifications and everything right. plus, yep. plus it actually shows the time so it's kind of cool there you go yeah <laughs> um so i I like the the Pebble because I wanted to watch anyway, so it's just kind of dual purpose. Yeah, there you go. When, when I get a text message, you know, I don't have to dig my phone out of my wallet or out of my pants pocket. <laughs> wow, that's a thin phone. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Does it bend like the iPhone 6? <laughs> Fat-ass wallet. No, it, <laughs> I, I do not sit on my phone. Is it a billfold? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, it's it's... I don't. Bottom line is, Indiegogo sucks ass. <laughs> I, I like the idea behind it. The, the premise but is the, good. The premise is great, but the problem is, so many hacks get up there with projects that are never going to come to fruition and take yes. your money and run. Yep. And the problem with Indiegogo, which is great for small people, but the, it's kind of a problem, is Indiegogo, even if you don't reach your fundraising goal, you can keep the pledged money. That's a, yeah, Whereas that's... with Kickstarter, you only get the money if the goal is reached. <laughs> right. However, for me specifically, I have an Indiegogo campaign going right now to raise money for my uh, college robotics team. Plug! Yeah, exactly. Plug it in. I'll uh, link in the description, guys. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we have that going right now, which, you know, that's convenient because we're trying to raise like $3,000. That would be nice. So, you know, if we can't reach that, it would be nice to at least keep what money was donated. Right. However, that system can be very abused. Yes. So, I like it, but at the same time, I hate it. It's like anything. It's got its, you know, bad people are going to ruin anything good. Oh, of course. Of so. course. I don't even, I'm not even surprised. I wouldn't, I'm not even, it doesn't shock me anymore is what I'm trying to say. God, I just stroked out there for a second. I hate people. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. <laughs> I got I got an angry factions video. I think it, I think it was uploaded. Let's see. I'm trying to think in terms of when I'm gonna upload all this. It was uploaded yesterday. Okay. <laughs> you can hear my story of how I hate people. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, it was a 40 minute episode of factions of ranting. This sounds like an epic thing that I'm going to love. <sighs> God damn! It's the story I started telling you about during your stream. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> yes. God. <sighs> oh, it's glorious! It is now forty-four by twenty-one by three. That is that is beautiful. Now the question is, what the hell do we do with it? <laughs> um, we'll worry about that later. Okay, awesome. I'm going up to the surface because I think I'm starting to get the bends. 
<laughs> I'm trying to find one damn diamond. I mean, you would think I'm I'm at level twelve, so I'm in good shape for diamond, and you would think I would find one. Is it night or morning? Awesome, it's morning. Hey, oh, creeper! Oh God! Ah! Oh Jesus! That was a high jump. <laughs> I just kind of did a creeper jump there. Oh. And I also forgot that I planted a crap load of saplings. So I came up to the top and I was like, wait, did we move this thing? <laughs> There's trees everywhere. There's trees everywhere. It's like we're in a forest. We, a we, might, we might be in a forest. I don't know. Um, Let's see. I will look at the biome. I am in a plains, but it looks like a forest. <laughs> That'll work. Ah, good enough for me. I'm trying to just replace this hole the creeper made. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show me a diamond. Show me a diamond. There's always diamonds by dirt. Come on. I know. Have you noticed that? Yes. Dirt or lava produce diamonds. Always for me. Well, apparently not always because we've only <laughs> found two. Four. Whatever it is. Redstone. Fortunately, that doesn't help us much. No. Unless we can make a duping machine, like in uh, Tech It. <laughs> that would be nice. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Mm, wandering aimlessly, trying to find... I don't know what I'm actually trying to find. I just wanted to get out of the cave for a little bit. There's way really <laughs> too much gray on my screen. You kind of air out. Because, <laughs> of course, on the faction server, we have an underground base. Right. Because that's the only way to play factions. If, you're not, if you don't have an underground base, you're doing it wrong. Got Unless, of course, you have a giant obsidian cube in the sky covered in water. Well, That's the yeah. other way to do it. That's cheating. <laughs> eh, not quite. It just makes it hard. Well, you see, the thing is, we wouldn't even need to cover it in water because you can't use TNT on this server. Oh, so, Obsidian Cube is good enough. I mean, I would just say, hell, cover it in lava. Right. <laughs> then no one can dig through it. Or they make themselves a second layer of Obsidian. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. It's the Punchcraft faction server. It's oh. weird. I don't know. The only reason we got back on it is we had a decently strong faction of four people a while ago. Oh. And we were doing pretty well compared to everyone else with four of us. Nice. And the only reason I hopped on there is because I still wanted to play factions, but we had a falling out with the MCSG faction server. I don't think I've ever played that one. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, the Minecraft survival games. Yeah. They have their faction server as well, along with all sorts of other stuff. And there was about 12 of us on there. And I will quote a moderator, because I tried going back on it the other day, and I was talking to a moderator. Um, and it was just not going to be an easy time for me, because his exact words were, Oh yeah, of course I remember you guys. It was the closest any faction ever came to totally overpowering the server. Oh! We had okay. 12 of us. Um, we had very close to god, ar god diamond armor. Like, oh. almost every enchantment on it possible. Uh, with, like, five sets for each of us. <laughs> nice. We had the best possible weapons we could create. We had several different... We had a... Okay, this is an interesting one. We had a sheep farm that could get you to level 30 in 10 minutes. Holy Jesus. <laughs> a sheep grinder that could get you to level 30 in 10 minutes. That's awesome. When did Silverfish be in vanilla, by the way? Uh, a long, long time ago. Really? Why yeah. did I just all of a sudden come upon Silverfish? I don't know. You got gotten I, lucky? Apparently. Okay, so the way you can tell Silverfish, and it's very hard, like, when you have an iron pickaxe, or especially, like, an enchanted pickaxe or whatever. Is it the goes fast? Yeah, the block breaks a lot quicker. Okay. So, yeah, um, if, if your block starts breaking quicker, it's Silverfish. I know it's really easy to tell if you got if you got a uh, like a modded version and it says like what the name of the block is that you're mm -hmm. that you're because then the silverfish one it, or it'll say like stone but it'll be in quotes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, oh yeah, it's stone. Yeah. Like, 
Let's say with a pickaxe, it would slower. Yes. Echo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That would make sense of why it was, when I was using my pickaxe, it was weird how it, I thought it was, at first I thought it was. Oh, does it, it was just slow the, down with a pickaxe? Huh. Because I thought it was a, like obsidian. Mm. Oh, interesting. I or thought quick. it was just wicked quick whenever. Guess I was wrong. I'm running through a cave. I, I cannot believe that I'm not finding any damn diamonds. I can't believe how much iron I'm finding. <laughs> and gold, actually. Oh, God. I felt a hit from behind. Uh-oh. Where are you? Ah, there you are, silly. What a mistake it was choosing to mess with me. Ah, ah. Oh, cool. You dropped a bow. Thank you, kind fellow. Be nice if it was enchanted. Yeah, unfortunately not. There's like four shots left on it. Oh, but do I have arrows? I do have arrows, so I think I'm going to use your bow to take out your buddy over there. You know, there's I have a bow in the chest down there. You can um, combine it so you can get, like, six shots. <laughs> well, I'm down to two. Uh, apparently I managed to two-shot a skeleton. Nice. When it took four hits with an iron sword. I'm not going to question that... that one. Yeah. Maybe he stumbled through some lava or something. Oh, gold. That's helpful. Ish. This is... <coughs> ah. I cannot believe how far I've gone with no diamonds. Mm. It's strange. It's really strange. Oh, more skeletons. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Shoot out, buddy. I'm almost broken this iron pick, so this will be uh, four iron picks that I've used trying to find diamonds. Oh, God, I've gone through at least ten today. Don't feel bad. <laughs> but I've found enough iron to at least make another seven oh, yeah. just right now. Yeah, I've, I've got enough iron to make up for it, so that's not a problem at all. Matter of fact, I made an iron shovel, too. That might be fun to make, too, an iron golem farm. Ooh. Coal! That might be fun. Woohoo! Coal. So totally useful to us. Actually, it is, because we don't have that much. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, I'm going to head on back. I'm, Leaving a tree. I have caps. no idea where I am. <laughs> I just went in a straight line, so I'm... Well, I mean, I just found a random cave up on the surface. Oh. <laughs> that is not where I came from. <laughs> That's cobblestone, though. Does that mean... Oh, God. That's not very nice that you shoot me like that, fella. I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. I did find an emerald. Nice. So maybe we can get diamonds that way. I don't remember seeing any villagers that sell diamonds for emeralds. Oh yeah, that's true. We have the crappy villagers. Darn. Yeah. Is that the way out? No. It's more lava here. Is that the way out? Hmm. Found a torch trail. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Nope. Maybe more cave. Hey, it's our staircase. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, yay! Wahoo. We can actually have a chicken dinner now. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Let's see, I will chuck some more. Oh, cool, another baby chicken from an egg. And get some seeds. Okay. Sorry, I'm... Oh, God, they dropped a lot of eggs down here. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, good Lord. Did Adam and Eve have navels? So, okay, so here is my logic on this. They simply must have, because why the hell would evolution put another hole in our body? <laughs> Good point. I mean, that's the only logic I can put behind it. 
good enough for me. I don't, yeah. I don't know, guys. Uh, if someone out there has a real reason, comment it. <laughs> As, I, I, to either of those questions, actually. Yes, yes. I mean, my technical, my technical answer to which came first, the chicken or the egg, is the egg, because any multi-cell organism, the first cell of that organism is considered the egg. So unless, of course, the chicken just magically appeared. Well, <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, you know, it's possible, I guess. I guess. I... It doesn't seem too likely to me, but... Right. <laughs> Stranger yeah. things have happened. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> oh, okay. my God. We have so much cobbles. I've just filled the chest, and I still have more. I still have a sack of 64 on me that I'm keeping for some reason. I just had to spill over into the andesite chest. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need... That's what I was going to do. I need... God, there's just so much space now. Stretch out, relax. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not the smart movements mod, so I'm stuck standing the whole time. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I looked again for uh, for Optifine, and it's not available yet. Ah, of course not, of course not. Why would it be? I don't know why it's taking them so long. Honestly, that's a good question. Because I don't remember it being that long between 1.7.10 and the version for Optifine. Like the only reason to me it would make sense for it to take so long is if they did what they talked about and actually totally restructured the code of Minecraft in order to make it run more efficiently, which they did not, as is shown by the lag spikes everyone is getting with 1.8 that are unexplainable. Yeah. It's much more intensive. <clears throat> There's no reason Optifine shouldn't be out yet. At least in my humble opinion. And I'd happen to, I would happen to agree with your humble opinion. You know, I'm going to go mine around this um, lava that's around here. Maybe there's... Oh, great. I just found bedrock. <laughs> so we got that going for us. Yeah, we can grow a tree and make a little void hole. We can do sacrifices and whatnot. Ah, uh, sacrifices. We just got to make sure... That we don't sacrifice any witches because the Humane Society will be after us. Oh, Jesus. We can't sacrifice pigs because or chickens because Peta. of the PETA. Oh. Um, I think we can't sacrifice zombies because there's probably a group out there for them. <laughs> that would only make sense because, you know, preparing for the zombie apocalypse. Because mm -hmm. that's clearly coming, right? Yes. Because there's no other possible thing that could happen there. Nope. Although with Ebola now in Texas, you know, because Texas, everything has to be bigger in Texas. Oh, yes, yes, of course. So everything's got to go the wrong way. And plus it's down south, so everything is ass backwards. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and there goes all of our demographic. <laughs> they are Yankees. <sighs> Wait, hold on. I haven't offended my New Zealand crowd yet. Oh, all right. Um... Oh, wait, and we can't sacrifice kiwis because they wouldn't be happy with us for that. Kiwi's a big thing in New Zealand? Uh, no, the bird. <laughs> oh, bird. Oh. I think it's the national bird. Ah. I didn't know it was a bird for a while. I, I mean, thought it was like a... There's a New Zealand robotics team called the Kiwi Bots. I thought they just liked the fruit. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, you stupid Americans. You stupid, stupid Americans. Not fair. I don't know what wasn't fair about that, but it felt right. <laughs> right. Well, you know, the more I'm I, I'm, I'm around <laughs> Americans, sometimes I start to agree with uh, you stupid Americans. <sighs> Hell yeah. So my, like, no, <laughs> I, I'm from Canada, dude. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite expression on the matter is when you're born into this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. When you're born into America, you're given a front row seat and a backstage pass. There you go. That, that's pretty accurate, too. Yeah. Sad but true. <laughs> Every day is a day in the Springer show. Oh, yeah. Let's bring that back. <laughs> it is. It, is it? It didn't go away. I, when I was... 
I was under the impression it lost a lot of its popularity. Um, it's, Apparently that's wrong, then. Well, I'll tell you this. When I go to our local YMCA um, to do my 45-minute workout, um, what happens to be on one of the channels at 1 to 2 o'clock is the Jerry Springer Show. Ah, okay. I get it. It's workout motivation. You take a look at all these fat people with family <laughs> problems and you realize you don't want to be them. That's, you know, that's quite possible. Because then at 2 o'clock, Wayne Brady comes on with ah. uh, Let's Make a Deal. There we and, go. And I feel, Wayne Brady. I feel very sorry for Wayne Brady. <laughs> yeah, his career just kind of took a turn, huh? I, I would say he is being like career hell. God, it's like what happened to Drew Carey for a while. Yes. Kind and of it still the, is happening to Drew Carey. <laughs> yes. You know, I thought he was doing good with uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway? And yeah, then... no. I, pretty much everyone who was on Whose Line Is It Anyway, after that stopped, their career took a shit. It, they're dead, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Colin Mockery, I thought he was doing something. I don't I... know. Maybe he just retired. Um, Ryan... I don't know. I haven't seen him at all. Then they tried Improvaganza, which is basically Who's Line with everyone who was ever on it coming back, but that oh. failed miserably. They jumped the shark on that one, huh? Oh, and then they just came back with Who's Line, but they decided to come back with a different host. It's not Drew Carey anymore. It's some black woman. <laughs> I, I That was not a racial... It's just... That's all I know about her. It's just a fact. You don't know her name. No, I don't know her name because I haven't watched the new show because I've heard it's dreadful. <laughs> so why am I going to subject myself to it when I love the old show so much and can just go to 12 Medby on YouTube and watch all of it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's like I remember back in the days when MTV showed music videos. I don't think I was born when they were doing that. No, I don't <laughs> think you were either. Headbangers Ball on Saturday nights, man. That was back... Back, oh, I'm dating myself now, but back in the day, that that was that was pretty awesome. <sighs> now they don't even show videos on MTV Two. What the hell? God, is MTV Three a thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's called Fuse now. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Fuse was cool, and then it was bought out by something and. And they started doing the re reality shows, too. And I'm like, what the hell? Well, yes, of course, because what better way to feel better about yourself than seeing how screwed up someone else's reality is? Exactly. Let's put the quote marks around it like stone when it's actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Whatever the hell we were talking about earlier. Silverfish blocks, yeah. Silverfish, yes. Oh, man. Reality. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So now there's Palladia, which is it's just a matter of time before they completely ruin that. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't yet. <laughs> yeah, it's time's ticking. <laughs> I can I can feel it. Counting down. <sighs> mm -hmm. However, I will say this, and I don't know. This is, I think no one really wants to say it. As screwed up as America is right now, there's no other place and no other time period I'd rather be. <laughs> now, that's a good question. As far as place, no. Hell no. I wouldn't want to be any other place. But time period, that's an interesting one. I am I mean, health-wise, I would have to say no. I wouldn't want to be in any other. Oh, hell yeah. I'm, no, I'm, no, no, no. Because I'm assuming you're talking about you can't go into the future. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'd want to be in the future, because it's not looking too bright. <laughs> well, good point. Uh, sure, always, let's include future, yeah, we'll, we can include future in this. I always kind of liked, kind of fancied myself as being uh, uh, a cowboy in the Old West, but then you know what, I would probably would have died of syphilis, so... Or maybe a shot to the back of the head. That's more than more likely, yes, in my case. <laughs> God, I mean, it wouldn't be too hard. Like, I, I, that's like, I remember, um, the question was asked a while ago with, oh, what, I don't remember what the movie was, The Purge or something? Oh, If okay. everyone, if everything was legal for 24 hours, what the would purge, you yep. do? Yep, that's The Purge. My answer was, I would go the hell home and lock myself <laughs> away, because I know I've said something at some point in my life that someone would kill me for. Especially being wow. on the internet now. <laughs> oh, yeah, because 
Because everyone hates you on the internet. Yeah, it's, uh, people look so... It's what I call the pussification of America. Yep. Things, things get taken so... It's like, God, have a spine, would you? Oh, no, no, no. No one has spines anymore. Because we start them young with child worship. Yeah. Where everyone's a winner. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going off on a yeah. Carlin rant. Here, <laughs> Here, you get a trophy <sighs> for playing. Yeah, exactly. They don't even call them losers anymore. No. You know what they say to the kid who came in last? You're the last winner. <laughs> You're a loser! <laughs> you know, and, you know, they, they never hear those uh, good character-defining words. You're a loser, Billy. <laughs> no one hears that anymore. So meanwhile, when Billy's 20, the first time he hears his loser is his boss. When his boss calls him into his office, get your shit out of your desk and get the fuck out. Yeah. <sighs> And his parents can't understand why he can't hold a job. Right. Because, you know, he He's was always on the honor roll in school. Because what they don't realize is all that takes is a body temperature roughly in the 90s. <laughs> roughly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't even narrow it down. Uh, roughly in the 90s. And to everyone out there, I, I will link the George Carlin video that, that is exactly quoted from in the description. I will put an annotation on the screen. There you at, go. Yeah, okay. Mental note of the 41 minute mark. So I can find it later. Diamond! <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Alright, I'm making that pickaxe. One, two, three, four. I'm making that pickaxe. Five! Come on! Oh, nice. Yes. Get in my inventory. Don't you tell me my inventory is full. <laughs> I will. Bitch slaps. <laughs> Is your inventory actually full? It was. So I just made, okay, I made some more torches, and now I got, okay, there I got we it. Go. We're cool. All right. So I'm going to head back. Where the hell did I come from? Oh, man, not this crap. There we go. Sweet. So I, I ended up getting six diamonds out of that. Nice, and I just made a diamond pick. Sweet. Which will only be used to collect four obsidian, and then it's going away for a while. Well, we need an ender portal, or another portal. Oh, yes, we need that, too. Yep. Aw, oh, this path is broken. I need blocks. I didn't I'll do just that. dig some of this crap out of the wall. <sighs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think the whole timeout generation thing is where it started for me, I think. Mm. It's where the table started going downhill. Where the hell did I come from? Yeah. I mean, of course, you know... Mm. Being a modern-day child, uh, my, my parents were never for that whole it's just a timeout crap. Because, of course, my parents grew up in a much different time period than that. Right. Yeah. No, I, no, I'm not saying beat the hell out of your kid. That's not right. But, you know... Oh, no, definitely. I'm not, uh, there's a difference between beating the hell out of a kid and getting your point across. Yes. I mean... For me, just a quick little snap upside the back of the head. That did a lot more for me than a parent telling me that wasn't right what you did. Right. I don't know. Call me crazy, but. Yep. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go put oh, the. Hey, oh, that's lava. <laughs> I'm going to put the diamonds in the chest. Let's not walk into that. <laughs> Bada boom. I'm just going to grab four obsidian for now. Put that iron ore in there. Okay. So I don't feel like fighting for another eight or ten, actually. Anything else I could contribute to that? Do we have a chest? I think we do. I think I just answered my own question. Uh-oh. This tunnel is blocked. Oh, yes. Awesome. This tunnel leads right to the cave system. Hey, Tim, I see you over there. Hi, Tim. <laughs> Hi, Greg. I blocked this off earlier. Hi. <laughs> forgot I blocked it off. Forgot where it went. Let's team. Team, 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 <laughs> team. Team, 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 team. That fool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I fell for it. Backstabber. Uh, let's see. Now I need to grab one more diamond. I can make the enchanting table. Oh, oh wait, I no, we need a book. Wait, we have books. We have books. Uh, we have definitely enough leather. I put the diamonds in the chest that's back across over there. Ah, damn it. I was over there. Yeah, I... I and of course, the crafting table's all the way over there. 
I'm going to grab Grr. the string and the leather and put them all in the same chest here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll eventually figure out an organization system. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. I, well, I think by episode 15 we'll have one. Uh, that's a, sort a, of, that's a good estimate. <laughs> that's Hey, that's my goal. <laughs> what? I, I try to make reachable goals. I want to have a sorting system by episode 20. But I don't. Let's see. We need a five wide recess for the enchanting table. So let's see. Yeah, because we're going to need the books to wrap around. It needs to be five books across and five deep. So one, two, three, four, five, right? Because that will be books, book. Book, 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 two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five will be out here, and then we knock all this crap in the middle out. Poop! And there ends up being bookshelf there, bookshelf there for the opening, and then there's this one block, and the enchanting table goes here. Boom! Oh, wait, hold on. Crap, I did that wrong. Alright. Are oh, you gonna put it under? No, 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 no. Get some nice, discreet lighting. Ah, light. So that's why I like to use glowstone. Yeah, but we don't have it yet. That's, that's true. That's, that's a fact. I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm liking the look of the diorite with the enchanting table. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yes, I like it. I, for the floor, for the enchanting room, I think it's okay. Yes, I would have to agree. Actually, it, maybe polished uh, diorite. Ooh, even. there you go. How the hell do I do polished diorite? It's just a uh, four, like you do stone bricks. Oh, is it? Okay, I was yeah. trying to, like, stack it, like, columns or something. I think this this is either gonna look good or crappy with the borders, <laughs> and I might be leaning towards crappy. Actually, you know, if you, I think it's all right, I, especially once we have the books in. Yeah, because this will be all ordered. I think, I think that'll look nice. neat. Yeah, surprisingly, found a use for diorite. Polished diorite, rather. Right? Yeah, polished. So, guys, there you go. If you were wondering, diorite looks okay only with enchanting tables. <laughs> right. It's nice and bright. It's not too dark. It lightens it up. Yeah, I and say... I'm going to put it above, and then I say, even though we don't need that many, we just go too high with the bookshelves and make it wrap around all the way, and it'll look nice and clean. Look, that works for me. That actually looks really nice. Yeah, it does. I'm surprised. Oh, found a use for the new blocks. Yes. Mission accomplished. Decoration, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. Let's see. And then what do we got for leather to start making bookcases? Oh, we have um, the top shelf. Yep, there you go. Okay, cool. There's plenty. Plenty of sugar cane as well. We got, got plenty of wood. And I got about... 20 books worth in my inventory right now and we got 40 we got 39 books in total and we got wood down here in the bottom chest oh yeah and i'll make some planks and we'll go boop 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 oh you know what i want i got 13 bookshelves nice that'll start yeah that's a very good start excellent excellent I'm very curious if it all falls to crap with the books. It actually doesn't. It does. It looks nice. I like it. I'm going to keep it symmetrical for the time being, so I'm not going to put this last one in. That's fine. Because we I need like... more leather, which means we need cows or horses. I think that sounds like a adventure for the next episode. I couldn't agree more. So, that being said, we will see you guys next time. Get oops. oh yeah, and of course be sure to check out Tim. <laughs> oh, and yes, Greg's his channel will be in my description. Yep. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. See ya. Peace.
Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching this video all the way through. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you'd like to see me do anything in the future. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and share it with your friends. It really helps the channel grow. Also, check out some of these previous videos. See you guys next time.